and revealed that the Nakuru depot that deals mainly with exports is almost deserted. It will now serve the local market as KPC expands the Eldoret and Kisumu depot. When it was established in 2006, the depot on the outskirts of Nakuru opened up the eastern side of the town. Our regional reporter, Victor Gale, has more details on this developing story. <laughs> Hapa katika wodi ya Nakuru East iko na wapiga kura 38000. Wambaye wali migrate hapa waka settle na wamekuwa kifanya kazi kwa njia ambaye ni ya kujitahidi and you can see the houses they have built. You can see the trucks hata wamenunua marori ya mafuta wati ya hapa. Ndiyo wanapata pesa ya kupereka nini? Yo export. Lakini na, na bwana wazira ametuambia kulitokea kwamba uh, waka standardize hiyo ndio kitu ilituletea shida tariffs za mafuta za hapa ilikuwa 49 shillings per liter waka stand, na kule upande wa kisumu ilikuwa kwa 59 waka standardize yote kakuja sa, around 56 sasa wale wakaona ni afadhali waende upande ile mingingine badala ya kuja hapa imeleta shida nyumba hazikaliki kazi hamna mwi mafuta wakati ilikuja hapa jio area hii yetu lianza kukua kukawa kuna manyumba ya ukodisha imejengwa kuna mahoteli, kuna vijana wanapata kazi kurigana kuosha magari lakini kwa wakati huu kila mtu wako na jaa nikisema serikali ilete chakula hapa hawataweza kurisha hii watu i am in constant touch with the cs that is something that cannot be allowed because we must be given a reason and a reason that is sufficient we are dealing with human beings we are not dealing with animals there are people that have invested around the depot. Unless the government is ready to compensate the people that have built their businesses around the depot, we will not allow business to be removed from Nakuru. We must be given enough reasons. We must also be given an alternative in, you know, uh, government uh, facility that will be able to absorb the workers that were being served in that depot. Well, from